Welcome to another Invisible Wheelchair podcast tapping recording. In this recording, I'm going to take you through a simple tapping session related to the podcast you just listened to. This is a simple tapping session as a starter to your tapping journey. This is not meant to be a full tapping session, but a starter that you can build on as you do more tapping and more of what your spirit needs to tap on comes out. If you have not tapped before and don't know or understand emotional freedom techniques, better known as tapping, then I suggest you go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com. Go to the About EFT page to find out more about how to tap and the tapping process before you begin this recording. This recording will not go over those details about how to do EFT or tapping. What I'm going to do is say a phrase, give you a space to repeat that phrase as we continue to tap. I will for myself start at the point above the eyes at the eyebrow and move to each point with each phrase or word that I use. I will not say the point name during this tapping recording. Remember again, if you have not tapped before, then please go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com and go to the About EFT page to find out more about it. Make sure to keep breathing normally. Keep hydrated. Drink plenty of water as you tap. And most of all, be conscious of what thoughts come up during your tapping. I call these pop-ups. They can be words, phrases, songs, pictures, or feelings. These could be very important messages from your mind as to what needs to be worked on, so you may want to write them down and add those pop-ups to your future tapping sessions. I would not brush them off lightly, no matter if they don't match what you're immediately tapping on. The mind does not bring them up lightly. So let's begin now. This is the tapping recording for podcast number 61, The Bumps Along the Road to Nowhere. Let's start out with a deep breath first. We're going to start out with the karate chop point. Even though I feel like this has gone on for a long time. I've heard about others who have made it through it. And that gives me a glimmer of hope. Even though my family and I have been through a lot. We are still here and they still support me. Even though this has been a very rough journey. Even though that may be true, I'm still okay. Now we move up to uh, above the eye. OCD is still coming. I never know when. And I am really tired of it. It is exhausting. My family has been through so much. I've been through so much. We're still here. We're okay. It's been rough. OCD is relentless. Just when one compulsion is eased, another one pops up. 
And these compulsions are tough. The thoughts that go with them are even tougher. I am sick and tired of living by the commands of OCD. It's scary to think that I can get past it, that I can work through it. It's really hard to fight. because OCD seems so strong. I have been told that I'm stronger than OCD. That's harder for me to believe because OCD seems so strong to me. But I do understand the more I can fight it, the easier it should get. And I'm getting more gumption because I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired of OCD. Controlling my life. I really wish to be free of OCD. It's just hard to f figure out. because OCD is so tough. And I am so exhausted. And I feel like I could be a burden to my family. Even though they still support me. I don't want to be a burden anymore. I wish to find a way that I can fight OCD. That I can put the bully of OCD in its place. Because even though it seems tough, I'm beginning to believe that I'm tougher because that's what people have told me but I've also seen it in myself there have been times when I felt I overcame OCD at least for a while so I'm beginning to believe that I am tougher and the more I choose to believe that the stronger I am. And more the OCD falls by the side when the compulsions get start easing and the thoughts slow down. So I choose to believe 
that I do have strength. More strength than OCD. Because I know others have made it through it. And I'm still here. Which helps me to choose and believe that I can get past this. Because I've seen examples of others who are living their life not commanded by OCD. I want that kind of life too. I am choosing now a life not commanded by OCD. I feel the strength within me. And will continue to choose to use that strength against OCD in all ways possible. So that I can overcome OCD. So I choose now to accept the strength that I have and to know that that strength is, an, is enough. That strength is good enough to help me get past OCD. So I choose now to fully accept all the strength within me. I choose to fully accept all the support outside of myself that can help me get past this OCD. I choose to be open now to any support, any help, any strength that will help me get past this OCD. I choose now be relaxed and open for all of these things. All right. Another deep breath. I know that was a s some simple phrases, but I hope you can go over them a couple of times and then be very open in your mind as to what comes out from those phrases. What does your mind say about them? Is there resistance in there? If there's resistance, what is it saying? And what is it saying about you? So as you hear these resistance, the more you do this tapping, be open to tapping around those resistance and find out what this is really about. Do these tappings every day and be very open to what's going on in the mind, the real messages that are back there that will help you to overcome them instead of just pushing them back down. So remember, keep tapping, talking, and transcending your life into new heights. Thank you for tapping and keep tapping and have a great day.